Christine de Pizan was born in 1364 in Venice to Tommaso de Pizzano. When she was five, her father was appointed astrologer, alchemist, and physician to the King of France, Charles V. She was raised in court in France, receiving a top-notch education with access to manuscripts at court. Some of the love ballads she would write as an adult would reflect her exposure to courtly etiquette, fashion, and the chivalric code. At 15, she married a court secretary named Etienne du Castel. That very year, Charles V died and Charles VI, also known as Charles the Mad, assumed the throne. Both her father and her new husband fell from favor and received pay cuts, making life a little more difficult. She had borne three children by the time she was 25. That year, in 1390, Thomasa, her father, succumbed to a long illness and died. Shortly thereafter, her husband died as well. Etienne's estate was locked in legal turmoil, and in the meantime, she was now responsible for the provision of her mother, a niece, and her three young children. In order to make ends meet, she became a writer and one of the first few females to earn a living doing so. She composed songs, ballads, and poems, and found a strong audience in European nobility. She even received a commission to write what today would be called the official biography of Charles V. As time went on, and she became more established as a writer, she became more autobiographical and engaged in the conversation on the female gender with Vision of Christine in 1405. That following year, she published The Book of the City of Ladies. She was a champion of France and found the turmoil of the 15th century troubling, in particular, the Great Schism and the assassination of Louis of Orléans in 1407 and the public strife between the royal family and Burgundy. The hostilities from the Hundred Years' War eventually drove her to retire to a convent. Her last work was written in 1429 a poem called The Hymn of Joan of Arc. She died a year later in 1430.